Hi everyone. Did you know that if you have any amount of THC in your system, you could lose your CDL license? This is Christina Williams with Just Criminal Law. And David Mann, legal storytelling specialist. Okay, so first of all, what is a uh, CDL driver? A CDL driver is someone who is a professional driver. They hold a Class A license versus your average driver who will hold a Class C license. Now, the Class A driver's license allows them to haul heavy loads and allows them to transport passengers up to 15. Okay, so a professional driver. So I would imagine uh, being a professional driver, the standards would be higher, but I think you're talking specifically about standards for when you are in violation of some laws, some, uh, something like having a substance in your system maybe? Sure, we're seeing more and more drivers being cited with DUIs in Wyoming based solely on having THC in their system. And this is, you know, especially true for over the road truck drivers or CDL holders um, that are, you know, a lot of times their trucks are their sweet sleeping quarters and, um, you know, they're just not allowed to use THC. There's a zero tolerance for that. Hmm, okay, so THC being usually associated with marijuana, uh, you say zero tolerance. So, you know, I would imagine that m most professional drivers wouldn't want to risk their license, so they wouldn't be like smoking pot, you know, while they're working. But I think this sounds like it extends even further than something kind of obvious like that. They'd have to be even more careful than that. And what does that look like? Well. THC, whether it's smoked or ingested, is going to stick around in your body much longer than any other substance, say alcohol, for example. So, you know, somebody that smokes um, while they're not operating their vehicle, that person is still going to test positive for THC if they were required to submit to a test, even though they're no longer under the influence of the THC, they're no longer high, it's just simply in their system because it's a fat soluble drug and it's gonna stick around for a long time. Hmm. So they could smoke, you know, have, have fun with their friends smoking pot on Saturday, but by Tuesday, which they were not feeling high anymore, that's still in their system and could be a huge problem if they're pulled over. Correct, it, it could be, uh, you know, astronomical for a CDL driver because ultimately, you know, that same set of facts with a class C license driver isn't going to result in much of anything at all. But with a class A license holder, that could cause them to lose their license, lose their livelihood, and, you know, no longer do what they do professionally. Well, I'm sure there's got to be I mean, we've talked here just so far about like recreational smoking of marijuana, but there's gotta be some exceptions, like somebody who has medical marijuana needs, for instance. No, that's not an exception either. The CDL license is a federally regulated license, and under federal law, marijuana is still not legal. It's a Schedule One controlled substance, which the federal government says any, any drug that's classified as Schedule One does not have any medicinal purpose and is highly addictive. And that's where marijuana falls right now with the federal government. So it's, it's not legal um, to operate your, your vehicle if you're a CDL holder, even if it's legal in the state where you reside or the, the state where you're driving. Well, what about CBD then? Isn't that sort of just about legal everywhere, including Wyoming? CBD is definitely legal. Um, I think there's only maybe one or two states that are still holding out not legalizing CBD. But CBD contains THC. Now, to be legal, it has to be a much less potent level of THC. That is, you know, it's not going to get you high. But it's still going to come back positive if you're tested. Um, and it's gonna show that you have THC in your system even though you ingested it through CBD. Wow, and like you say, this is 
you know, it's a little risky for Class C ordinary drivers, any of this kind of stuff, but it is seriously risky for uh, CDL drivers because they can lose their entire livelihood. So if someone finds themselves, a CDL driver finds themselves that they, you know, are in this corner, uh, they're going to need some legal counsel, and that probably should be you. And how would they find you? We'll include a link in the description where they can call, text, or chat with a member of my team anytime, day or night. Here at Just Criminal Law, we know you only get one shot at justice, so make yours count.